If you are on a budget and you are looking for affordable device, maybe the cool but defunct will be one of these phones for you. So this is Vritastic and this is the full review for the cool bad defunct and this phone should be available in Metro PCS and T-Mobile. Without any further ado, let's find out. First thing we're gonna have a look on the build construction and design of this phone. Here we don't have anything premium, everything's made out of the plastic, but just to be fair, the phone has nice looking. The back is gray, it has textures. Here's the speaker, should be located on the bottom, cool bad logo, flash, camera, 5 megapixel, noise cancellation. From the side on the left, we have the volume records, the power, as well as we have from the bottom it will be the mini usb 2 we don't have fast charge the microphone and the top we have audio jack if you want to connect a headphones and listen to music and the front we have no led notification lights just the front camera will be 2 megapixels so we don't have anything premium here this it should reflect the price of the phone as well now this phone display one of the worst thing in this device very much we have 5 inch of the display and we don't have HD or full HD we have only 480p this is the maximum resolution you can get on YouTube as well and if you guys see the screen from the front everything's gonna look normal and once you start going to the angle side you will see everything start uh, washed out and the quality is not gonna be good so we have 480p resolution and we have less than 200 for the PPI and 5 inch of display in my opinion this is the worst thing on this device but as I said before we're not gonna expect much from any budget device like the cool bad default now the phone has a removable battery and the size of the battery it will be 2450 and just to be honest with you one of the best things in this device I find out that is the battery plus you have battery save mode help you out to reduce the consumption of the battery and if we just look over here we will see that's a 58% approximately 7 days left that's if you keep the phone on the standby mode basically the, the display in that phone has very bad quality so that means it's not gonna consume a lot from the phone most likely the phones with full HD and more PPI that you push in the phone which is make the phone consume a lot more so since this is a budget device it doesn't have all that powerful uh, things on the phone to make that phone consume the battery this point I will give them a thumbs up that because the phone hold the battery very well maybe you may be surprised if I tell you this phone could get you up to six hours of screen on time now for the phone speaker it should be located as I mentioned earlier in this video that's it will be located on the back of the phone right to the bottom over here and the quality of the sound in my opinion just standard and we don't have anything fancy no fire speaker as well as it's not too loud and the treble is not good as well let me just give you some uh, example over here and we listen together on some uh, music track and to see or to hear how it is Now let's move on on the hardware on this device. Surprisingly that phone has 1.4 GHz processor which is Snapdragon 425 which is very decent and we have GPU Adreno 308 also this makes the games a little bit smoother and you just play it just fine. The gaming part we are going to cover later on in this video so I'm gonna try not to focus right now as well as we have only one gigabyte of RAM this makes the phone laggy sometimes especially when you have or when you are running multiple application at the same time and finally we have only eight gigabytes internal storage that's not gonna give you too much space to download apps and games and for those people they want to see the Geekbench Mark score it will be 632 for single core and 1793 and this is very much very decent score. 
Now let's play some games on this device. As I mentioned before, we have the GBU Adreno 308. Surprisingly, this phone play games just fine with no any problems or lagness. I haven't noticed, especially from the games I have downloaded on this device. Overall, the experience was very good to play games. I haven't noticed any issues whatsoever so far. But in the future, if we have more problems, we will report that for you. Now we have Temple Run over here, and let me just show you how it's it's gonna be if you wanna try to play it. Everything looks fine, no problems, no lagness or whatsoever. So for those people they just wanna play not too heavy games, I don't think so. They're gonna have any issues whatsoever. Let's go ahead and jump on another game. Now I wanna go ahead and play Need for Speed No Limits, so we're gonna play it with you guys and see how the performance is going to be. As far as what I see right now, I don't notice any lagness or problems when I play a game. And this, in my opinion, will be considering like a heavy game, has a lot of amount of graphics, frame and stuff like this. And this is, in my opinion, sometimes it lags. One of the problems that this phone, it takes forever to play this game. So you have to, I have to wait literally about four uh, minutes just to play that game. That because there is no enough RAM in this device. If this phone has more RAM, I will give you a lot better performance as well as the internal memory it doesn't. Unfortunately, cool bad Defund doesn't have most of the requested sensors in any smartphone, so we don't have gyroscope, we don't have magnetic scope or sensor we don't have orientation sensor etc this give you a hard time if you want to watch some 360 videos vr or if you want to play some games that depends on the gyroscope like the pokemon go this phone will be shipped to you with the Android 7.1.1 Noga out of the box. So very much everything in this device, it will be stuck Android. Even if we guys seen that uh, lock over here for dialer, contacts, main menu, everything looks like close to the stuck Android. One of the things I want to just let you know that I have seen something interesting in this device. When you go to the settings, you will see on hand deduction. That means if you put a password or pattern key or whatever it is, it will keep the phone unlocked while the phone in your hands. This just make it easier for you to unlock it, especially if you are driving or anything like this, it will be more handy. But once you leave this device on the table or you leave it for a little bit and you're trying to come back and it should unlock by itself. As I said, nothing real fancy over here. If you're just familiar with how the Android look for the Nuga on the stock, this it should give you the same performance. Lastly, I would like to talk about the camera so that you can just open the regular camera application that it comes with and then we're gonna go into this after I tell the specifications for the camera. So we have here very standard uh, camera which is the company doesn't even give us what the aperture etc. But they tell us about its 5 megapixel camera. We have a flash as well as we have 2 megapixel camera. Application, it doesn't look bad. You have everything you're looking for, beauty mode, you have a professional mode where you can adjust the white balance the temperature etc as well as night mode video up to 720p hd so it's not that terrible actually uh camera application but i believe the sensor in the camera is not good at all here's some of the pictures i have taken this is outside and inside pictures we start from the low light or mid light situation we have so much of noise as well as when you push more light it gets a little bit of better pictures over here as you guys see on the screen even outside pictures as I said it still look very terrible over here compared to the other even budget devices also we get some selfie pictures I was not able to even with the outside to take very good selfie pictures but this is what you pay what you get Now let's give this device a rate. I will give it 6 out of 10. Two th good things I like about this device, or maybe three things. First, up to date operating system. You have very good lifetime battery and decent a processor. The other things I don't like has only one gigabyte of RAM. 
the screen is terrible, the speaker is not good, the camera as well as. And that was very much it for that video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Please subscribe more on Variety Stick if you want to see videos like that. And thumbs up for that video. As always guys, I'll catch you in my next one.